Hi everyone, it's Matt and welcome to Collaboration Coach. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find your stuff with your new best friend, the Office 365 homepage. One of the most overlooked ways of finding and working on your documents is the Office 365 homepage. The homepage is available to everybody and it's customized depending on who you are and the work you've been doing. You can get to the Office 365 homepage by typing in office.com and logging in and that will land you on this page here or you can go up to the little waffle and choose the Office 365 link here and that will also land you on this page. At the top of the page you're going to see the Good Afternoon banner which shows you all the apps that you've got access to but as you scroll down the page you're going to see a lot of parts of the page related to OneDrive and SharePoint so ways to access your documents and edit them particularly the documents you've been most recently working on. You'll see you've got this recommended section at the top. Now each of these tiles is a separate document and you can move through the recommended documents using these arrows here. So for each of these tiles, you can click on them to open them. And you've also got this little ellipsis here which shows you a drop down. You can also see when you worked on that document and what you did with it. So this was recently opened. This one over here was edited. And from the menu, you can open the document up in the browser or the app. You can share, copy or download the document and you can remove it from that list if you want. So if you don't think that should be on the recommended list, you can remove it. So recommended items are ones that SharePoint is actually recommending to you using some intelligence saying, right, well, this person used this document recently, edited it recently, shared it recently, so it shows up in this recommended section. So any of these documents, you can just click on them, it will open them up in the browser, and you can start to work on them. So back on the home page, if we scroll down a bit further, you'll see this section here that has a tab called Recent. This is the list of all the recent documents, the documents you've been working on most recently. And you'll see here for each of these, you can uh, select it just by clicking on and opening it. So it goes straight into PowerPoint. Then back on the page, you'll see you've got this ellipsis here where you have a drop down where you can share, copy and download. And you can remove it from the list and you can open the location. So we've also got this one called Add to Pinned. Now, if you want to control what documents you see. There's one perhaps you're working on and you know you're gonna be working on it every day, so you want quick access to it. You can do something called pinning. A pin basically moves it to the next tab along in this section called pinned. So if I take this presentation here and I choose add to pinned, and then I go to the pin tab, you'll see it's added that presentation there for me. So pinning is just a really quick and easy way of getting to the document that you were looking for. You'll see you've also got the shared with me section. So if I click on this tab, it takes me to a shared with me list. These are all the documents that have been shared with me by somebody else. So here I've got one and I can see that Megan edited this and I can see that it's shared and I can open it up in PowerPoint and start to work on it. And I can also see for example, that Megan is also editing this document and Megan and I can now start co-authoring together. If you're in that situation where you're working on documents together with other people, and you're co-authoring and you need to collaborate in that way, you can do that and you can use the comments in the browser as well. So back on the home page, the other section I wanted to show you is the ability to upload and open. This is a quick way of uploading a document into your OneDrive. So this isn't necessarily SharePoint, but if you wanted to upload a document, perhaps you have on your computer, you can just choose it, hit open, and now that will be uploaded to OneDrive. And then if you wanted to move that into SharePoint from there, you could easily do that. So it's a, just a quick way of getting documents into your OneDrive. Finally, here we have these two sections called OneDrive and SharePoint. OneDrive shows you the recent folders you've been using in OneDrive. So that if you've been editing or opening documents from folders in OneDrive, they're going to show up here in this list and you can click on them and go straight through to them. You can also go directly to your OneDrive from here. 
And on the right hand side, we have the SharePoint section, which shows you the frequent sites. So these are sites that you've been visiting recently. And then you've also got the sites that you've been following. When you follow a site, it means it shows up here. So if you want to quickly get access to a site that you don't know the URL to, and you know you followed it, you can come directly here to a following site. Now following, if you remember, just means that you've starred or checked that site for following. So I'll give you an example. If I open up this training site, which is in my following list, you can see here on the right hand side, I've got this following button. And if I click on it, it will stop following and that will remove the site from my following list. Okay, so that was a quick overview of the Office 365 homepage. I hope that helps. And if you like these videos, then please subscribe because we're posting every week. See you next time.